I'm going to share with you three things Ali Abdal does in his videos that you can do in CapCut so your videos can go viral like Ali's do. You're the best. Number one is this cool looking rectangular picture in picture effect. In CapCut, we'll just add the talking head video to the timeline. Next, we want to add a mask. So we're going to click on video, mask, and select the rectangular mask by just clicking on it once. Then we want to shape it in the shape of the rectangle that kind of Ali uses. And he uses kind of a cool rounded rectangle. So we're just gonna position this right where we want it in the middle of my face. And down here we can round the corners, we can drag and choose a number or just type in say 12. One thing Ali does is he has a thin white line around it that's kind of animated. So I found this gradient background online that I'm gonna drag down to the timeline and I'm gonna put it behind this clip by dragging this clip over it. And next we click on this gradient animated background and we choose mask again, choose rectangle again, and then we position it as closely as we can to make a thin line around it and you just drag the sides like this. You want it to be centered like the clip below it and round the corners the same. I think we used 12 last time, so that should be about right here. Now we have a subtly moving thin border on this talking head video. We want to be able to scale this down and reposition it. So to keep all this stuff together, we're gonna to select both of these clips, right click and choose create compound clip. Now, when I scale this, it scales everything together. So I can just go like this, scale it down and move it about where it would be in one of Ali's videos, probably around here. Now let's add the thing that I'm talking about for the main video. Let's say I'm talking about the Appalachian Trail right here. I'm going to do a click and drag me on top. Now let's customize it the way Ali does by clicking on this clip in the background, select mask again, choose rectangle, but this time we want it to stay horizontal. So we're just going to scale it up and we can scale it more easily if we go into video basic and choose scale, you have a little more control. And we really want to have that same rounded rectangle look. So we're going to jump up to mask again and select round corners. And let's go ahead and just type in 12 so they match. And I think Ali has his maybe a little bit smaller. So we'll just scale it down, move it over a tad, click on me and move me over like right here. Let's have a look at it. That's not bad, but we have a boring black background here. So let's go ahead and make a, a more fun background. To do that, we're going to go into library and just choose motion background. You'll notice that even though I typed in motion background and selected videos, all of these are stills. You can tell because there is no time code there. What we want to do is find a motion background. So we're going to scroll down. Ali's backgrounds are pretty subtle usually. So let's scroll down to one of these down here and find something that's not super obnoxious. This guy's close. Now, when you see this arrow, it means it needs to be downloaded. So if we're going to use this background, we're just going to click and wait for it to download. The very next evening. Once it downloads, it starts playing. This is maybe a little more obnoxious than we'd like. We're just going to go ahead and use it anyway. We'll drag it on top. And we want these guys on top of that one. So I'm going to highlight both of them and drag them above this guy. Let's jump to the beginning and hit play. Background's kind of obnoxious, but you get the idea, right? And yes, someone was attacked by a bear at this shelter, but we went there anyway. The second alley effect we're going to show you is typing on a page and having that page wipe off the screen like you're watching here. To do this, we first need something to type onto. It can be a still image or it can be video. I just downloaded this motion gradient from YouTube actually, and there's an app I use all the time to download stuff from the internet. It's linked below if you want to try it out. So I'm just going to click and drag this down to the timeline. Now let's type something using the text tool. You just click on text and you drag it down to the timeline. We'll go ahead and type, we're not great at avoiding bears because why not? And then we'll choose a font similar to what he uses. He uses something like Roboto. Let's go ahead and just click and drag this down here. Because this is a little bit hard to see against this bright background, I'm going to add a little bit of a stroke to it by scrolling down here to stroke. The color we want is black. It's already black, so we don't need to change the color, but we don't want it to be so obnoxious. We're gonna lower the thickness quite a bit to about five. So it looks elegant. Ali will usually have some kind of a graphic pop on. So let's pop a graphic on. Let's go back to media, grab the CapCut logo. Since we're doing a CapCut tutorial, we'll scale this guy down, put it up here. Ali's graphics are always moving, popping on, popping off. So we're going to click on it and go over to animation and choose some kind of animation for this guy to pop on with. Let's try zoom too. That looks kind of fun. And so with the motion background, this would look like this but it's just sitting there, even though just for a second, nothing is ever standing still in Ali's video, so we should make that move. We're gonna jump over here to effects, 
type in rebound, drag rebound swing, drag it down here, and right now it's got that other thing creeping in, so I'm just gonna adjust the size to about 12. Let's have a look. Looks pretty good, pops on nice, text looks good, the graphic looks pretty good, but now we want the whole page to drop off the screen. To do that, I'm gonna select all of these clips, I'm gonna right click and choose Create Compound Clip, and stuff isn't on screen very long with Ali, so when do we want it to pop off? We'll go about that long, and then have it pop off and reveal what's underneath. So starting here, make sure we have it selected. We're gonna go over to Basic, and the only thing we're gonna move is the position. We're gonna select a keyframe here, and we're gonna go forward, I don't know, eight frames or so, and then we're going to drag this off of the screen. Because we have one keyframe set, it will automatically set another keyframe when we drag this off the screen. So I'm gonna go down, hold the Shift key so that it stays centered, and let go, and it looks like this. It looks pretty linear, so we're going to modify the keyframes. We do that by right-clicking and choosing Show Keyframe Animation. The only keyframes that were active were these two here. This is the Y position. You can tell because right there it says Y. So I'm going to click on this guy. I'm going to click here, then click this guy right here, and select the keyframe and choose this to create an auto curve. This will smooth out the motion. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this guy here. Smooth it out and make sure the clip isn't selected. We can see what it looks like. Now let's put something underneath. Let's go back to media, drag this clip of me, drop it down here, drag this stuff and put it on top. Let's see how this looks. Bam, just like Ali. One little power tip. If you didn't want this animation to start here, we could move the keyframes. You can literally just click on a keyframe and have it start sooner. So we'll just click on them one at a time. And now we can watch the whole thing. Now I'm going to show you how to put text behind yourself like Ali does in this video here. I click on this clip of me in the timeline. I'm going to duplicate it by holding down the Option key on a Mac, the Alt key on a PC, clicking, holding, and dragging it up. Now there are two layers of me that are exactly the same. To cut me out of this layer, I select Video, Cut Out, select Auto Cut Out, Give it a second for it to cut it all out. I can see that I'm cut out because I can hide this bottom layer with this little hide track eyeball here. I'm cut out. Now, all I need to do is add some text. So I'm going over to text, hit default text. I'm gonna have it start, I don't know, somewhere around here because right there I point up. So I wanna be pointing at it. So let's just say Appalachian Trail. Let's go ahead and choose the bold font since that's really readable and free. We can make it a little bigger by dragging here or just changing font size. I'm going to position it up here. I'm going to put it in between these two layers so we can see how it looks. I want it to type on the way Ali does. So I'm going to make sure it's highlighted. Go over to animation, select in, and let's find type one. And we liked it except that it went on really fast. I'm just going to drag the duration up to maybe two seconds. Now let's see how it looks. To learn how to edit shorts and cap cuts so you can get millions of views like Ali does, you want to click on this video right here.